Uh, my name's Shane Reese. I train at Bulldog Gym. Um, I've had 25 fights. I've earned several belts, both amateur and now um, current WMC professional state titles. So I just want to take it as far as I can, challenge myself. Shane, Shane's a great fighter, little left-hander. Um, he's a little Aussie battler and he's just improving out of sight every year. He's doing really well. <coughs> Reese might be a familiar name on the Australian Muay Thai stage, but is most well known for his three fight battle with another of Australia's known, Mark Fowler. Both fighters were getting ready for the decider fight. The result would be more life changing than anyone could have predicted. One of my toughest opponents and opponents that I've uh, had the most respect for is Mark Fowler. He was just uh, an absolute warrior. We fought twice. Uh, the first time he came out on top, so I came in strong on the second one and we just we went for an absolute war. My recent fight with Mark Fowler, it went five rounds, full tie rules, there was everything in it, punches, kicks, knees, elbows, we just, we left nothing behind. He threw everything he had at me and I went everything I had at him. Uh, just the last round I got on top of him, I knocked him down, but he got straight back up and he just wanted more. We were, um we were challenging um, Shane for uh, the vacant WMC strap. Everything that he wanted um, in the sport was um, was about to be put on the line, and then that, that being the WMC um, title. The build up to the fight was uh, it was just pure dedication. Um, Mark was extremely motivated. He'd already um, won his first title against. Um, Shane Reese, the WBC strap, and and we were um, we were challenging um, Shane for uh, the vacant WMC strap. Everything that he wanted um, in the sport was um, was about to be put on the line. He was so excited. I remember there was a real buzz in the corner going into it. And um, as we're going into the fifth, um, I believe we were still ahead in the, uh, going into the fifth. And um, unfortunately, Mark got a knockdown earlier in the round. And, and we kind of coasted and we, um, to start with, we got him back on and, and Marky, um, being, as, um, being the fighter that he was, continued just relentlessly pushing forward and using um, his main strength, which is his fitness and his heart, and he pushed right through to the very end. After the fight, um, Mark was the same himself, just having a bit of a giggle, um, and was sitting out the back and, um, he said he started to feel a bit queasy, which um, usually is just a sign of um, a concussion. He started to take a, a turn for the worse. Um, he's starting to feel ill, um, um, and he said he was going to throw up, and then that, that's when um, some of the alarm bells rang. So um, from then, that's when um, things got worse and worse. And um, you know, we, you, um, you think. Yeah, um, being a trainer, you have to, um, and a leader, you have to um, keep a positive face and um, and and you know and have a giggle and, and try and keep everybody in good stead. But um, I knew something was wrong, but I just thought it was um, a bad concussion. And um, and you know we kept on talking to him and um, we were by him by his side. The ambulance came and um, and, it, and it was real and. Um, and I jumped in the ambulance and we went down to the hospital. Um, I remember the time waiting in the, um, in the waiting room was one of the longest times in my life. Um, um, waiting in the hospital was um, a very long night and um, something I never wish upon my worst enemy.
Mark Sharkey Fowler was pronounced dead at approximately 10 p.m. on Monday the 15th of August. He was 35 years old. So many emotions pass through your head when you um, see your boy. Um, usually think of him as his sons. They're always my sons, but Mark was like my brother. And, um, um, just, it's just um, something that um, you can never, something you can never get back. Losing Mark did affect the way that I thought about continuing on with the sport. Um, but thinking from Mark's perspective, he wouldn't want me to give up. That's just the way he is. He was a person who never backed down. And that's one of the things that he taught me to do. At Mark's funeral, members of the local gyms around Sydney came together to perform the traditional Ramoy in respect to their fallen mate, a guy who everyone considered a friend and who even until his last day was a fighter. In every one of PTJ's fighters, there remains a little bit of Mark Fowler. They all share one thing in common with the fallen fighter. Their biggest weapon in the ring is heart. Yeah. 